You heard it right. The title is correct. I'm leaving. Yeah, this is going to be a hard video to edit. <laughs> Now, seeing as this is our last day, oh, second to last day, and this is kind of the last dinner we're gonna have with the family for a little bit, I figured we might as well go to some place that holds a very special place in all of our hearts, specifically mine. Yep, we going into the Chick-fil-A. Oh yeah, you already know. I said, oh yeah. That's all awesome. <laughs> Let's go, the best kind of sandwich, you know. I think the hardest thing about that trip me and Kate are gonna be embarking on. No Chick-fil-A. We decided to spend the last night to watch one more movie together as a family. One of my favorite standalone films is The Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah, this is gonna get emotional. Brace yourself. This is the last, last time on the boat in a long time. Probably might come back here and drop our stuff off once we're done in the islands. So I want to take one last look at my room. This is it. This is the day. It's almost one o'clock. This is the room I've been sleeping in for the past six years, I think. Right here. This has been it. TV. Skateboard's up there, all the things the room has. Yep, now me and Kate are going. Okay. Bye bye, Zatara. You have done so good to us. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful boat. I gotta put some stuff in the back real quick. The car ride to the airport was difficult, to say the least. Everybody was emotional. We were dreading getting to the airport. Me and Kate had a few bags we had to check, which was easy. It wasn't a problem. But then that led to the part that nobody likes, is saying goodbye. I love you too, man. I will. Yes, sir. I love you. You are fun. Thank you, Dad. I love you, man. We're both filming. Man, I'll see you in six months. I'll be back in a little bit, all right? Be okay. Hey, come on, man. I love you, bro. What about that? Mama, I love you. I'm gonna miss you too. Unattended vehicles will be promptly ticketed and towed at the owner's expense. I love you, brother. I'm gonna miss playing guitar with you, man. See ya. If they have a guitar, I'm gonna be playing it. Bye. My gosh. Here we go, dude. Here we go. Wipe those twos away. It's just me and Let's you go. now. Let's go. Come on, Damien. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta look at me and do this. No. Oh. We still can't get it. Okay, we gotta go through security, so I'm gonna put you away. And I'll update you guys in a minute. Looking back at it now, I wish that I put my camera down. I wish that I set it aside, put it on a tripod or something, because... It's such a distraction, especially when it comes to saying goodbye to my family. I mean, this is kind of monumental for me and Kate. This is the longest we'll be gone. So, I wish I set it down just for a moment to say goodbye. We just landed in LAX. We walked nearly a freaking whole mile across the airport to get to the International Terminal and get to gate 204, which is the Fiji Airways that flies to Fiji. This is the long flight. This is the long leg. Kate's getting snacks right now. It's just me sitting, all the bags, that's about it. After a lot of stressing, getting things done, we arrived in Tongatapu, and now we're at the airport. We're waiting on our puddle jumper to get here. It flies out at 1. It is currently 11.05, so we got two hours. 
I know, I'm so excited. This is it, this is the last flight we have to take. It's been like three days of We're flight, doing it. four days, Ooh. a lot of traveling. The kingdom of Tonga is just a group of islands right next to Fiji, southeast of Fiji. And let me tell you, it is probably the most remote location Kate and I will ever go away from family for so long. At least right now. Maybe not in the foreseeable future, but uh, yeah, we touched down and good things happened afterwards. No way! Yo, brother! What's up? Oh, it's good to see you. Oh. All right, we're now in the car with Darren and Lily. Now these are the owner of Matafanua Resort. My wife's the owner. His wife's the owner. She gets all the work done, really. So now we're off to the resort to find, hopefully, our quarters. Hopefully they give us the master suite there. Yeah, you got a tent. Oh. oh. What do you mean that's the master suite? After all that traveling, I think we can make that work. Just another one. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Uh, this is filmed a couple days after. I had to get settled in. They had a lot for me to do once I got here. Well, not a lot, but enough to where I needed to pause on filming for a second. Now, me and Kate have been here before. That was on the boat with the family, and now we're here by ourselves. We liked it enough. They had a position for me and Kate, and we were like, yeah, let's do it. So I am pleased to introduce you guys to Matafanua Resort in Tonga. So for those of you who are curious as to what I am doing here, I can show you right now. That thing, where is it at? I can hardly see. Right there, that boat, that is my boat now. It's not my boat, but that's the boat I'm going to be captaining. And what I do, I'm the skipper. I just take people out. I make sure everything's going good on the boat. It is more or less my responsibility when I'm on the boat to make sure it is up to speed, up to date. Well, it's my responsibility whether I'm on it or not. The boats are everybody's responsibility. Specifically the skippers, which, you know, that kind of works well for me as I have spent a little time on a boat. I know a lot of the systems on it. It's very familiar to me. It's a little different than Zatara, but I'm getting the hang of it. I already went out on it once and yeah, I'm feeling good. It's good here. It's hot. I already have a sunburn. So in order to get up to Kate's room, you gotta go up these stairs right here. It's terrible, really. Is he coming up the stairs? Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I thought that was you, and then I was like, what the frick is that? And I was like, I can't I've never screamed like that before. Oh my gosh. This is the crib. This is the place. To be. So what do you got? You got a whole kitchen. I don't even me have and her a kitchen. sharing though, so it's not like it's just me here. Two bedroom, one bathroom, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, wait, what? Okay, anyways, so this is the kitchen. The stove is not working. We got a microwave, we got a toaster, we got a fridge, and a freezer. And then the bathroom is there. It's stuck. Wow. This is a big shower. You guys have a huge shower yep, compared to mine. The shower is very big. We got my humble bed. It's nice, and Lily set all of this up. She pulled in the furniture in here. I was not able to hang my clothes up on the boat, and now I'm able to hang them up, so this is like a big, major upgrade. And I can wow. stand up, I can stand up. So this is like a premium luxury room. You're on the balcony too. Yeah. Looking down at all the peasants. All the peasants. So what I'm walking on right now is considered the main road. It's, it's a road, that's for sure. It is not so fun to walk on with your bare feet because it's kind of like a gravel, especially this stuff, I say as I walk in it. And then around here you have various crop fields, palm trees, all the foliage that an island would normally have. I don't know what kind of crops they grow here though. Let's go down this path. There is a cool thing down this way, off the road, onto the beaten trail. Let's take a look. Now here at this island, they have no shortage of birds, bugs, spiders. I don't know if they have snakes. I bet they do. 
There's bugs, ants all over the place. My room is infested with ants for some reason. They're not terrible. They crawl on you when you sleep a little bit, but it's not like the end of the world by any means. So when I say I'm on the edge of the world, I mean quite literally that I am on the edge of the world. So coming down that path, I'm now sitting on the northernmost point of this island. The only thing that separates me from that island is this pass. Now water flows through this pass all day, every day, depending on the tide of course. Right now, the tide is out. At least the water in the lagoon is going out because it is going very quickly out into the ocean, into the deep blue. And not only that, is this lagoon right here is where all the kiteboarding happens. It's just right here. Hey there. Hi. Let me give you a tour of my room. So this is my desk where you are currently at. You are stationed right here. I have a window. It's pretty good. I think it's good. My shelves with all my various sets of camera gear and whatnot. So if I come up over here, this is it. I have a tripod right there. My clothes are hanging up. I'm doing this with my left hand because I am left-handed. A lot of you guys probably don't know that. I have a bed. It's a big bed. It's a great bed. I like my bed. Anyways, with all that being said, thank you for watching till the end of the video. I do think I'm gonna end it here. Stay tuned for next week because the son of the owner is flying in and me and him, we're gonna be getting up to a lot. Let's just say that. I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, that's about it. I think that's about it. I think I'm gonna end it there. Mm-hmm.